Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chessbed. Today we continue to verify low takedown in the plan structural designer. Uh, now after we complete run, scan the analysis, we will check the grid line 2D. Yes, we check the slab, uh, slab service. Yes, left survey, the left survey is uh, 2194.4 kN. And we refine with the uh, Excel. We do it manually. This is the total uh, the survey or the slab. The slab signal is uh, 15 and the density we take it 25. And the bay from bay to bay is 6.5 and 6 meter column beam. The survey of column and beam, and it is the total survey uh, of the structure. So now we uh, compare each other, it is very really similar. Yes, it's okay. Now let me check about the service load, uh, about impost load. Yes, impost load, impost. And uh, we check for the shell. Okay, come back. Now let me check for the impulse load. We apply it's already or not. Check on the loading. Okay, now uh, not yet uh, apply the import load. Import load we apply 2 kN per square meter. Now let me uh, apply the import load. Click on loading and area 2 kN per square meter. Okay, now complete. Yes, let's see it. And let's run again and verify with the line load is okay or not. Yes, analyze first order analysis. We run uh, the load cache only. Okay, we do not do do not want to run at the load cache. You can turn it off. Now let me click OK. And the estimate uh, line load. Line load is uh, seven uh, sixteen uh, eleven seventeen. Okay. Now let's come back and check at the grid line 2D. Yes. Now the total uh, import load is uh, 18. Sorry. It's, it's, it's very, very high. Yes. We estimate only uh, seven yes only seven seven ten multiply with the two multiply with six point five six eleven seventy one thousand one hundred seventy why the the value in the color is very high now let me check Yes, eighteen. No, eighteen. Let me check again. Two, three D. We check for the load. Come back to three D. Click on loading to show all load. 
Okay. And now let's check for the import slot. Set width. Okay, check the import. Import load is 2 kiloton per square meter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Okay, that's correct. And come back to visa uh, review. Okay, come back. Now let's check why the import loads is not a uh, correct. How uh, it says it. Check it again. Yeah, the estimate is uh, eleven seventy kilonewton per square meter. Uh, kilonewton, but the result is uh, eighteen. 18, uh, 1800 kiloton is over our estimate so we had to check this again now let me click to check about the the west of the structure okay slap say west You can uh, turn off load decompose where it load. Now let me click on the loading. Loading. 
yes decompose save as slab reload service no and impose okay Now let me delete all the the did load again uh, line load again. Click delete. Untick. Click on loading. Okay. Now uh, let click on the story uh, 15 we apply the load and again we can apply uh, the slab to kiloton per square meter you can click on slab now let me click on the area to and select all now let me come back to 3d no no for loss Okay, let me check it again. You can apply on the wall. Okay, two. You can click on the wall, apply it on the wall now. Let me click. This wall we apply the load. Two kiloton per square meter. We use the master three, so all the other floor also apply to the same load. Okay, now let me check. Okay, the mini should load it correct. Now let run again. Click seal. Click on analyze. We just uh, check. Okay, click on okay. We had to 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 check uh, the reaction of column to make sure it uh, match with our menu. Okay, for the deload and for the light load estimate. Come back or in post. We check on the grid line uh, today again. Yes, this one is match with our expectation. Uh, 1215.0 our estimate is uh, 1170 yes it uh, a little difference so uh, how to avoid error you have to check it again and again when you apply the uh, when you apply the load yes save it okay 2194 yes it uh, similar okay now uh, you can add other element to complete our modeling <coughs> come back to uh, 3d view come back to top view now to avoid other you can apply uh, the loading and check it again and again about the loading or the slave area and the wall I uh, after I, I model uh, the wall load on the floor and verify with the reaction it's okay and we also uh, verify the load 
it's okay now we can continue come back continue to the complete modeling now click on the top or click on the story 15 story 15 okay for the date for the service for the impose now let me click on none okay come back and you can design beam or do you can add extra extra uh, secondary beam now let me choose uh, another option to model and click on beam okay click on beam and beam we click on composite beam yeah we click on composite beam yeah composite beam okay and the strength the grade is still 235 megapascal you can change the section now let me change the section to uh, click here let me add the section okay now let me add the section select and click on edit click on the yes create in fear now create in fear you can enter by the number or by spacing now let me enter by the number two perpendicular or parallel now let me click on the per perpendicular okay and after that you can place it or from one bed to one bed now let me try to use the option it work or not okay it's work right now let me place over here touch Uh, I show you when you modeling it 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 it's very really, uh, important to verify the load with the uh, manually you cannot uh, you cannot uh, guarantee uh, modeling without error but we have to check it again and it's again to correct the model it is how we can uh, take time to correct it now here you can delete it by control control select and also control select control select control select control select control select control select delete click ok yes this one ok now you we have to change for this uh, the beam now turn off slab click on the slip item okay now select just two beam delete okay complete come back to show the slip item plus the secondary beam again click composite and the beam section is correct now come back to edit click on infill number two perpendicular we have to change it yes this one is correct yes or you can uh, model it directly now let me take this one I will show you how you can correct it 
yes okay now let me uh, check this beam sorry come back to turn off slab opening and slab item again you can uh, move it now let move it sorry come back move it again okay now let move it let move it okay okay now let's check why it's so different color now let's click and check it the composite beam and this beam is non-composite okay now let me check i want to uh, change this beam to composite beam okay click on this member we use the steel beam okay composite okay and turn off column ah uh, steel column okay and still play ok now let me select dust all beam control select control select uh, C sorry come back again Control select, control select, control select, control select, control select. We keep the parameter beam outside beam uh, design and non composite. Okay, now everything here is okay. Click change the non composite to composite beam. Please wait so we are uh, modify this beam. Okay, now let turn on composite beam. Okay, now we design it composite beam. Click on 3D. Let check the 3D model. It composite beam. Yes, the color is similar. It the same. The yellow. The yellow color beam illustrate the composite beam and the uh, this color illustrate about the non composite beam yes how we can uh, fetch the model how we can check the model it is uh, very very important for all of you structural engineer designer to make sure you uh, check and verify the model now let me click on my lead that to check modeling to make sure everything is okay without a uh, serious warning or any error e error we had to to uh, to check and to fix it before some warning we can skip and continue to run analysis and design now the modeling is complete it's very nice let me show it and as the complete for the modeling let me jump into the story at the best story we had to model the pie cap click on the wall click on the best okay <coughs> now let me model the pie cap okay let me model the pie cap click on the foundation uh, catalog we have to create the new pile data we can click on data you can design it as spring or linear name 
I call it uh, the city uh, 80. This tie is ball pile. Sep is circular and the diameter we change it to 800 millimeter pie length. We change it to uh, 15. Yes, 15. And embed embedment from the pie to a pie cap is 100 millimeter and bearing. Design the concrete we keep it in the full pie capacity. Had to change it. Now let me change it to uh, 0 for the capacity you have to uh, check the soil report about the bearing capacity or the soil now let me keep everything in default you can keep it spring yes click ok click ok now let click on the Yes, it's the uh, define the catalog. We have to define the pie cap column. Okay, pie cap column. Now let me define. I use a calculator. The spacing from one pie to other pie. Now I do it uh, three times. Multiply with uh, diameter of pie. 800 so it's what 2400 2400 okay now what is here right now let me check okay 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 now check it to 400 okay and the pie length uh, yes, is the length of the pie cap and the width or oh, you can keep in the default default is you 2.5 now let me 2.5 multiply with 800 is equal to 2000 now let me define 2000 now it's okay Yes, because uh, the software also has uh, a, a default for the pie arrangement. You can check it in the pie arrangement. We are in the pie function, general, mate. Now I have to check about the pile, yes. Pile reinforce. This is